Well, folks, uh, Todd Ryan here for CoolFMOnline.com. As you can see, this is the scene at the old Sears parking lot, Sierra Vista. The protest march is getting ready to take off. And yes, there's a lot of people here. Yeah. <laughs> there is a lot of people here. I was just here to see what it's all about. And you're just here to see what it's all about? Yeah. Okay, all right. What do you think so far? I think it's interesting, to be yeah. honest. It's you have any? not really, uh, I mean, I'm all for peaceful demonstrations and everything. I mean, as long as there's no uh, violence or looting, then I'm okay with it. I mean, I'm just a uh, concerned citizen, just making sure everything's going okay. Yeah, I hear you. All right, thank you, sir. like this gentleman brought his uh, toy gun. Uh, you're ready to roll here tonight? Oh yeah, ready to walk. Ready to walk. Yeah, I'm just gonna walk downtown. Uh, what brought you here today? Uh, a lot of uh, unfortunate circumstances in America. Um, it's kind of, can't blame it on one thing, but we've gotten to this point and I don't know exactly what should be done. A lot of people have ideas, but I'm just here to make sure everybody has access to their constitutional rights and protect their people and make sure nobody's gonna mess with anybody else. Oh, what made you decide to actually bring a, a weapon, though? Uh, obviously, there was some decision-making process. Too. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, the police like to bring out a lot of stuff, too. I, I want to make sure that they know that we're out here just as much as they are. That makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. And what exactly type of weapon is this? Explain it's it. It's just a 5.56 uh, five, six millimeter AR-15. That's just the caliber of the rifle. It's uh, kind of like a M4 basically an M4 that the military uses. Oh, okay. Yeah, similar to that. Right. And I'm yeah. guessing you have, uh, you're all ready to roll here in case there's a, you're packed and ready. Oh yeah, for sure. Just ready to walk. All right. Well, thank you very much for talking with us. I appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Thanks, sir. All right, you bet. Thanks for coming out. Absolutely. And uh, quite a turnout tonight. Absolutely. I'm glad. Last Saturday over at the intersection, it was kind of small, but I'm yeah. glad people have come out. There was a little concern about um, what from who well that you know people were going to be staying away from this event because of oh, the, yeah. um, stuff on facebook and right whatnot going around uh, yeah trying to scare people is what some people are saying well, i'm glad people are deciding to come out even but, if they are scared that's what real courage is yeah fighting through your, your scaredness but obviously fear. there's a lot of people that are not scared uh, oh definitely not <laughs> no way definitely not yeah, this is good this is really good. it is good we got kids Awesome.
to uh, get underway here uh, very shortly. Spencer, you ready to roll? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. You got to be happy with the turnout. Yes, I am. It's definitely a lot more people than I expected. <laughs> well, uh, now, why don't you explain the route again? What's the route? Uh, straight up 92, up Fry, and then on Mormon or Mormon. I'm not sure what road it is. It's like Mormon or something like that. Okay. Right. Starts with an M. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, all right. So, uh, are, you, are you pulling out here soon or what's, what's, what's the Yes. 5.30, 5.30. Exactly? Yes. 5.30. Okay, I'm gonna need you to park on this side. We had uh, some people contact us, and um, are going to be having and supplying water, uh, water bottles uh, along the route. And so people will be. Uh, Waiting along the route, uh, handing out water bottles. I know that we had at least a few people contact us that were going to do that, and some donated uh, three packs of water bottles to us, and uh, uh, we'll be dispersing them out as well along the way. Talk with us for a second. Sure. Well, what's your name, first of all? Uh, my name is Jose Locklear. Uh, now, uh, where do you uh, live, uh, Jose? I live here in Sierra Vista. How long have you been here? Uh, ten years. Okay. Ten years. Yeah, yeah. ten okay. years. I retired here. I well, you did. Yeah. Okay. And uh, as you uh, reflect on this, uh, what's your thoughts at this time in this country right now? And you've certainly got to be, I would imagine, happy with this turnout. Oh yeah, it's uh, very. Uh, uh, from, from Sierra Vista residents. Yes. Yeah. I think, I mean, the turnout is great. I think everybody understands that this is peaceful. And what we're doing is just trying to say that, you know, we're all united. And we're all going to see that change does come. That's exactly what it means to me. Change has to come. We can't, we've gone on the way that we have for far too long. We've turned a blind eye. Now everybody has a phone. Everybody has a camera. And people are seeing what we have seen our entire life, especially mine. And I'm 44 years old. So even my daughter, which is out here, she can attest to just getting pulled over at random. Why? Because I got a nice car? What, I can't work hard and afford it? Come on, stop. Stop. I'm not your enemy. Just as much as you just walked up and started talking to me. I didn't, I had no malice in my voice at any time. You are a man. I'm a man. I respect you as such, not the color of your skin. I don't fear you because of what? Because I'm big? Because I'm six foot three, 258 pounds? You should fear me? Nope, you shouldn't. At no form and fashion did I ever want to hurt anybody out here, but that's not what they think. It's been it's been since for generations just passed on like oh somebody is the enemy and oh they're this and they're that. I'm not more barbaric as you are. That's all I'm trying to get across. All right. Well, it's gonna be a little bit of a long walk. Uh, that's all right. We got 92 degrees. I just checked the temperature, but at least we got the wind. It's quite windy. Out, hey, so. we got wind. I got water in my bag, you so I'm water. good. I got my water. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm a little bit out of, more out of shape than I'd like to be. Uh, but uh, well, see, you can look at this as a step in the in the right direction of getting back into some fitness. That's very true. <laughs> very true indeed. Well, I had a, a membership that I, I got at uh, Planet Fitness. Yeah. When they first opened up. And I have yet to go. <laughs> so I'm hoping that this will inspire me. You're absolutely right. All right, good job. Well, hey, nice meeting you, sir. Thank All you right, very nice much. Nice to meet you, too, bro. It. All right, take care. All right, you bet. No, I'll give them a recommendation. Yeah, I'm honestly amazed at the turnout here. I certainly didn't expect that.
UFM. Hi there. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm interrupting. No, you're good. <laughs> I have to say this. Uh, there's more people tuning in uh, to our live stream than we've ever had uh, tune in in the history of CoolFMOnline.com. The long history of, well, a little over a year. But nonetheless, we've reached a milestone. How are you doing? No, yeah, she's on the phone. are providing the water I say. I yes, say, huh? anybody wants some water can have one. Just leave one for me. So you're going to be kind of, uh, as you uh, go along with the crowd, if anybody needs one, uh, yeah. they can just grab yeah. it. Sure, that's why I bought it. <laughs> All right. Uh, where are you from, ma'am? We live over here a block away. Oh, okay. So you're uh, from Sierra Vista? <laughs> yes. And uh, what uh, what uh, made you decide to, to come out uh, today? I support everybody's lives matter. And I, I, this is the tyranny that our nation is going through at this point in time is so frightening to me. I, I'm 74 years old. I've lived through Bobby Kennedy and Martin Luther King and John F. Kennedy. And I've lived through all of, all of the other things, Vietnam and uh, I, I think this is the biggest atrocity to our nation that we've ever experienced. Well, you ready for? Are you feel like you're in shape enough for this four-mile uh, ride? I can ride it. I couldn't walk it. Oh, okay. that's, that's where you're in these bikes. I can ride it. I can't walk it. You're the smart one. Uh, yep. I may, so have is to, he. I may have to grab a little ride in the back for a, a little bit, if you don't mind. Downhill only. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs>
Spencer. I think he's ready to kick things off. Okay, can I have everybody's attention? Yo, y'all need to listen, because I'm not finna say it twice. Okay, I just want to repeat, this is a peaceful protest. I... I will not tolerate it. I do not care. I will not tolerate it. If you do it, if I see it, I will ask you to leave immediately. You guys, I want this to be peaceful. I want us to walk. I want us to give the community awareness. And we are going to be marching straight up Highway 90. We are going to be up on the left side. We are also going to be mar marching straight up Fry. There is a small sidewalk. Please, please, please do not get on the road. If one of y'all get ran over, it is not going to be fun. I do not want to deal with it, okay? So just make sure you guys stay off of the road. Make sure you guys are staying peaceful. Once we get to the police department, we are going to have a moment of silence, 10 minutes. You could sit, you could lay down, whatever is most comfortable for you. That is perfectly fine. We will also have food, water. There will be multiple stops for water, food. One is that Executive Barber Club. If y'all need fades, go there. But one is that Executive Bar Club, Barber Club. So they will have water, they will have food. There will be multiple stations as long along the route. So if you guys need water, if you guys need to take a break, if you guys need to sit down, that is perfectly fine. And I just want to say, everybody, thank you so much for showing up. All of the donations, all of the food, your appreciation and your generosity does not go unrecognized. I definitely appreciate every single one of you in here. And in unity, we have power. And in unity, we will make a change. Let's do this. <laughs> Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Think you can do the, the full four miles? I don't know what to find out. <laughs> Haven't walked in ten years. Right? Oh yeah, I'm sure you'll be fine. But that wind is uh, like about 20, 25 miles an hour. So that's what what's going to keep us cool, uh, or cooled down, I should say. So that'll make things a little bit easier. Yeah, 
Yeah, it is Mormon. Yeah. So you're gonna go 92. surrounding community. Yeah!
what uh, what made you decide to come out? Of course, there was a lot of rumors going around that you know there was going to be maybe this or that. But you came. You're doing all right, brother. Yeah. Good to see you. Good to you see decided you too, man. to be come safe out. tonight. Pull well, down. Well, why did you do it? It's important. It's there's no there's nothing else to say. It's important. Um, this is not the nation I want to live in if black lives don't matter and if police can behave the way they've been behaving and this is important. It's what I want to teach my kids and my grandkids. Thank you very much, ma'am. All right, folks. Sir. Doing great. Oh, yeah. What a uh, turnout today, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I came up yesterday, same time. It's like, oh, must have the wrong day or the wrong place. <laughs> oh, so you thought the rally was last night? Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. You know what? That was going around. There was, a, I think, a few others that thought that same thing. Now, uh, where are you from? Hereford. Oh, you came from, all the way from Hereford. <laughs> ah, you know, 15 minute drive. <laughs> all the way, man. Hey, nice to see you. How about you? Where are you from? Uh, Sierra Vista. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, not answer. Oh, there is a little question. Right? Good to see you. Good turnout. Yeah. Uh, what, uh, what, what basically drove you out uh, to come to this? Uh, Was there some sort of uh, moment you said, you know what? I'm joining them. <laughs> well, you know, I, I, I'm going to flash back to about four years ago, three and a half years ago when uh, the day after Trump's inauguration, I marched with, what, half a million people in D.C.? Uh, so, kind of been on the Trump resistance movement, but uh, this Black Lives Matter is important as well. Uh, geez, I can't tell you how long it's been that I've watched it over and over and over again and seen where black people just aren't treated equally. I was in the Air Force for 20 years, and I always thought of the Air Force as being, or the service and the military as being a great equalizer. And by a long shot, it was compared to civilian life, but still, there were a lot of injustices and in, in, inequalities there as well. And uh, back in the 80s, I was underground in a missile silo as a crew commander on a Minuteman missile crew, and my deputy was a young black lieutenant. And he and I discussed our lives growing up. I grew up in rural Michigan as the son of a factory worker. He grew up as the son of a service member. And he explained and told me of instances where when his father was traveling on orders from one side of the country to the other, a particular instance going through North Carolina, everybody was tired. They wanted to stop and sleep for the night. And Curtis said, his dad said, there's no chance. We're not staying here. It's just not safe for us to stay here. And I thought to myself, what a hell of a shame. A man serving his country got his family trying to move from one side to the other to continue that service. And he can't find a place to sleep for his family because he's afraid for their health. And to me, that was a hell of a shame. But... You know, as a kid growing up in rural Michigan, my mama always taught me, we're all pretty much the same. Uh, got the same maker, whether you, whether you believe him or don't, we all come from the same place. And uh, the equality needs to be something we all struggle for. So, I guess it goes all the way back to my childhood. My mama taught me right. How about you?
George Floyd had to die. It's a shame any of them did, but he's been a watershed for a lot of people. Even my, my foster son, who never understood the Colin Kaepernick taking me. He and I went round and round and round about it. And never understood Black Lives Matter. He was always screaming all, all lives matter. And they do. But he doesn't he didn't get it. But I think this Floyd Floyd death. George Floyd's death. I think it I think it got him. I think he became a somebody who understood that Black Lives do have a, a, a bit of a difficulty still here in the United States. And it's not something they generate. It's just the stuff that happens along the way. And uh, it's not something they bring on themselves. It's just the color of their skin and other people not being able to to accept that. And my son, he, he finally accepts that. I think he finally gets it. So I'm exceptionally proud. I do this. I do this walk too for my grandkids. My uh, my daughter's got two grandkids or two kids that are half Hispanic. And uh, you know, brown brown skin people have it have it extraordinary uphill time just like black folk in this country and uh, you know I do it for them as well alright well hey thank you so much for talking with us appreciate it yeah yeah you take care man What brings you ladies out today? No peace! Support. Support and awareness for our black lives. Are you from Sierra Vista? Yes, I am. Okay. Are you still in school? I just graduated. Okay. Yes. And you got to feel pretty good about the turnout today, huh? Yeah, there are a lot of people came out. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for joining us. I appreciate thank it. Thank you so much. <laughs> you out today just want equality want to be treated you know the police should treat us the same way they want to be treated doesn't matter Respect, what our color of our skin is dignity doesn't matter who you are where you're from they're here to protect and serve and it happens too common that they don't it needs to change policy is not enough 
and everybody's just fed up. Are you ladies from Sierra Vista? No. 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 Where are you from? I'm a military spouse. Been all over the world. Oh, okay. Been around a long time. I've experienced it myself. And um, haven't seen much, much change. And I'm, you know, I'm walking for my grandchildren. I don't want them to have to go through what, you know, what everyone's going through. It shouldn't be like this anymore. We're in 2020. Why are we doing this today? more work to be done. A lot more work to be done. Is this uh, your first protest march? It is. So you, this was a turning point for you in your head at this moment in time. It is, absolutely. It is. There is a lot on the line, but there is nothing more precious than life. And we have to take care of those lives. And if we don't do it, who's going to do it? And they keep coming and they keep coming and coming. And to think the organizer at one time thought he was going to get about 50 people and hoping for at least that. Well, there's a lot more here than that. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. Hi, ladies. Hello. Hi. Um, is, is this your first protest? Yes, here yes. in What did you decide that this was the time to do it? It was about time, don't you think? We need Should this. It happened a long time ago. We need this. To show everybody that we're together. Mm -hmm. We need this. So I'm blessed to be in this protest, a peaceful one at that. So I appreciate it. That you uh, you heard the rumors uh, that maybe it was going to turn violent. Uh, you didn't uh, buy that though, apparently. No, I don't. And if it is, it is. But yeah. I think it's enough people that's for this that is not going to happen. And the nice thing is, I have faith in this community. I've worked in this community for long enough to know that we can do it together. This is it can be peaceful. So that's right. Yep. And, and so far, it is, of course. You know. Yeah. yeah. Right now, it's turning anything other than. No, I mean, it's it's no, yeah. The tone, peaceful. the tone has been set. Yes, that's Absolutely. right. Absolutely. Yeah. We just got to do it together and take a moment to understand and work together. Mr. Police Officer. Hello, sir. How are you? How are things going? Everything's going great. We're no no issues go. or no problems? No issues so far. We're going good. And uh, you decided to kind of take a walk, too, I guess, uh, with... Uh, I am. I'm the Chief of Police. Oh! So. Uh, I didn't recognize you. <laughs> well, yes, hey, sir. this is great to see you, the Chief of Police. Are you going to be going all uh, four miles, Chief? Absolutely. All right. Is that great? Uh, Chief... Do you have any thoughts uh, at this time? I guess what made you, as a representative of Sierra Vista, to come out and do this? Uh, well, first of all, it's our, our duty to make sure people's uh, constitutional rights are protected, and that's exactly what we're doing here. Uh, but uh, you know, I don't know if you saw the article that I published in the paper today. I did not. Okay, uh, all of us, good officers, you know, we're just as horrified by what we saw. And, and uh, you know, the subsequent investigation, the facts that were being released, just seconds us as well. And so we want to make sure it's a little harder. It too. makes it a lot harder. Yeah. And so we're, we're, we're wanting to make sure that everybody has uh, the right to, to peacefully, uh, you know, protest and, and make sure we protect them, but also protect the lives and property of the other citizens that aren't participating as well. Yeah. Well, there was a, a lot of, uh, I'm sure you saw earlier today, 
in the last few days a lot of rumors on the internet uh, that you know there was going to be some disruptors uh, coming in. It doesn't seem to be that way at this point. It does not, and uh, that's Sierra Vista for you. <laughs> Everybody's here to be peaceful, yeah. and uh, we uh, we allow each other to say our our, our peace and our side, and, and uh, in a peaceful way. Yeah. Well, Chief, thank you so much for uh, joining us. I appreciate it. You bet. Have All a good right. one. Here you have it, folks. I came upon the chief of police by accident, and he's walking to show solidarity with everybody as well here. That's cool. From Chicago. Oh, you're from Chicago. We're well, not no. from Chicago. Go to school in Chicago. <laughs> oh, okay. go to school no, there. Yeah. <laughs> I'm from South Carolina. I reside here in Arizona. Okay. All right. <laughs> and uh, obviously, uh, you guys felt strong enough to come out. Yes. Uh, what are your personal reasons for it? This sign right here. My ancestors fought for this, and we're fighting for it for them, for us. And simply, one word: justice. That's all we want. We want justice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Woo! Woo! I actually think the more people joined in on the protest since it started. The line seems to be longer. Is it? We can't tell how far back it goes. Yeah. Way, way back there. Ma'am, uh, where are you guys from? We're from Sierra Vista. And uh, what uh, what made you decide to uh, come out tonight? Well, we decided to come out for justice for George Floyd and for the Black Lives Matter campaign. So we're here to support all these people. It's awesome turnout. It's great. Were you expecting this uh, turnout? No. Hello. Not at all. We thought. Well, last week we heard there were only 20 to 25, so this was way more organized, so it's great. Well, there is another one planned tomorrow. Oh, there is? Yeah, it's uh, starting at 2 o'clock at Veterans Park. Oh! And they're going to make their way to Valero uh, Gas Station Four Corners by Chili's. Okay. And they're going to be camping out on all four corners from 2 until 6. At 6 o'clock, they're going to head back to Veterans Park for a... Uh, vigil, memorial kind of vigil uh, at Veterans Park at 6 tomorrow. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So just to let you know about that Thank one. Thank you. Yeah, in case you I wanted to come out, I guess. So. Yeah. But, at, yeah, we'll be covering that one too, folks. If you're online here uh, watching this, we'll be at uh, tomorrow's event uh, starting at 2 o'clock as well. So you can come and uh, if you agree with the cause, uh, they are going to be there tomorrow uh, from 2 to 6 in Sierra Vista and uh, wrapping up with the vigil at 6 o'clock. And I, I guess representatives from the NAACP are going to be there tomorrow, plus uh, 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 representatives and uh, pastors from some various churches in the community and uh, some other speakers as well.
sir. How you doing? Doing well. As a white person uh, here, are you from Sierra Vista? Not originally. Okay. And uh, what brought you here today to make you decide to come to this march? Because in a free society, we're not truly free until we're truly equals. As long as other Americans are suffering, then we haven't achieved the dream. Is this your first march? No. Not by any means. First in a long time. <laughs> right. All right. Well, definitely a good turn today. Uh, strong crowd. It's been peaceful. It's diverse. Everyone's getting along. Can't complain about that. It's just nice to see that we're not alone. Yeah. What brought you out here, sir? Black Lives Matter. I live very close to the police station, oh, you so do? I okay. rode. I rode to the mall, and then I'll walk it to the police station, and then I'll ride home. Oh, okay. Well, you had it all figured. Out. I did. Yeah. Ma'am, uh, are you a long-time service resident? I. Need to her. I have been here for <laughs> what nine years now. Nine years. It's kind of long. Yeah. You know? I mean, going on. Going on a decade. Yeah. Uh, is this your first march? In Sierra Vista, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, what made you decide to come out today? Common decency. And this, this is the right thing to do. I'm, I'm a school teacher, and every day we make the kids say the pledge, right? 
liberty and justice for all. And that's exactly what this march is about. Are you uh, kind of amazed at the turnout? Well, Spencer said in the uh, in the video there was 35 people he thought. I'm very happy. I'm very happy and I'm happy to see the support of the people on the street. It may not, gives me hope. Well, I'm quoting Angie. It gives me hope. It gives me hope. Well, thank you for joining us. I appreciate it. Who are you and what are you uh, I'm reporting Tom for? I'm Ryan with Cool FM Online. Yeah, you'll oh, okay. find me at the other one in Bisbee. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I, well, it's hard to recognize you with your mask on. Oh, you I know. know. I mean, come on. Yeah. And but it I, was because of your little video of Spencer that I... And then, uh, what's her name from Indivisible Cochise? Yeah. She posted it, and that's what made me see it. Oh, okay. So thank you very much for doing that. Absolutely. Yeah, I guess, uh, I think they're, uh, I don't know if you're aware of this, they're having another one tomorrow. Did you see that? I did not, and I... It's a separate I, one. Yeah. Separate organizers. Yeah. This is I, over at uh, Veterans Park, starting at oh, 2 o'clock. Oh, I did see that. Yeah, if I, I do have an obligation in Tucson in the morning, but if I'm back on time, I will come. And then they're having a vigil back at Veterans Park at 6 o'clock. That I will be there for. Yeah. That I will be there So for. just to let you know, we're going to do live coverage on Kulikum Online as well uh, throughout the day, but... Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you know about that one too. No, that's so. a good one. Thank you. Ladies, have a great day. Take thank, thank, thank you. you. Oh, support along the way um, as you can see on the side just uh, stopping if they can't uh, do the entire walk they're just doing what they can have an older lady uh, Zach uh, is just telling me this uh, apparently she fell yeah, but she uh, denied getting help uh, I guess she's okay
Carlos Ebersole, sir. Hey, are you a uh, resident? Yes, I am. Are you still in uh, high school? Oh, no, I just graduated, class of 2020. Oh, wow, what yes. a nasty year for you. Huh? <laughs> Something like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, yes, yeah, sir. Uh, we, you know, we just out here peaceful protesting, trying to just shed light on the issue. As you can see, we always got fans on the sidelines, right, Chip? Yeah. You know? Uh, what's your purpose for being out here, sir? Well, I'm covering it uh, right now. We're live on okay. uh, Cool FM Online. Uh oh, hey. Yes. Shout out to my granny. Well, <laughs> now, now, basically, uh, you got, were you, are you surprised by the turnout today? Oh, God, I am. It's, it's, it's a lot of people. It's a lot more than I thought it would be. And honestly, for the people that is here, I'm like very grateful and happy. And it's kind of like, it's sad and it's like humbling at the same time as at the amount of support that like we have coming from everybody in the community. It's not just one person. It's not just one group. Everybody is here. White, black, you know, Asian, doesn't matter. But we all came here as a collective for one sole purpose, and that's equality and justice for uh, black lives. And to change the systematic racism. Have you... Uh have you done a, uh, a march at all? I have, yes, I have. But I, I just marched in different states and areas. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but what do you plan to do uh, next with your life? Oh, I'm going to the U of A for college for to be a psychologist. So I'm going to study the field of therapy and then join the Air Force with my degree. And then uh, use my degree in there. Yes. Uh, what's the situation now? Have you gotten any uh, kind of a game plan as far as what the university is going to do to start the year? Is that... Uh, anything different or anything? As far as I'm concerned, we're doing like a virtual tour, like online instead. So we're not going to be able to go tour the campus in person. But it's going to be like a, a virtual one on stage. Yeah, thank you. And uh, so far, my move-in date, because I'm joining the Black Den community there. Shouts out to them. Um, my move-in date is August 15th, so I'm moving a little bit earlier than the rest of the people. Okay. Uh, but are you saying that they're, did I understand it correctly? Are they going to have initially some vir virtual classes to start? Oh, not classes, but it's going to be like a tour. So like if you register for the college and normally there's like a freshman tour orientation date, instead of the orientation being in person, it's going to be online. Oh, okay. Great. Yeah. But you're going to have, you're going to be in the classrooms then. Uh, hey, Randy. Oh, yes. I, I, I hope so. As long as everything goes right. Yeah. I hope so. Well, thank you very much. Thank appreciate you. It, I appreciate Good it. Good luck to you. You too. Yep. from Baltimore, Maryland. Okay. I've uh, been out here the last 19 years, though. Okay. And uh, what, uh, what's your 
what this, what made you decide to come out today? Well, my daughter, my granddaughter wanted to be out here. Uh, I gave my daughter a series of questions that she had to answer specifically as to purpose, understanding what you intend to gain from this and where do you hope things go from here? You know, she answered those accordingly and appropriately. So I said, okay, then we can go walk. So that's why we're here, that's why I'm here. Well, uh, I, I, your thoughts on the turnout today? Uh, it's actually a really good turnout. Um, good mix, young and old. It's good to see young people leading this, you know, organizing it, putting it together, and then just people coming out to support it. Off your head if you support! surprised about the turnout. Really proud of what we've been able to put together here, what the organizers been able to put together. Yeah, I think uh, Spencer, uh, at one point, uh, he was hoping for, you know, 50 people to show up. He'd be, it would have been happy. Well, surprised. <laughs>
Justice, no peace. This isn't just for George Floyd. This is for the everybody. Bigger than Sierra Vista. Bigger than Arizona. This is our country ride worldwide. Let's go. No justice, no peace.
Justice now, peace. No, justice now, peace. Peace and a voice. Peace and a voice as to where we are 
and where we are going. The treatment of blacks, not all police force, are the same. But where there's abuse, they should be held accountable. Totally accountable. Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! No justice! No peace! Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! It's great. We, were, we did the gathering when we had the shooting of the officers in Dallas. We did a ceremony out at Veterans Memorial Park. Led by the chief of police, Adam, and the county sheriff, Mark Davis. Now is the time to recognize that we cannot be silent no longer. The black lives do not. Black Lives Matter! trying to scare people into not being here. But guess what? We here. We here. How long have you been part of Sierra Vista? I've lived here on and off for 20 plus years.
and in a little better shape than I thought. Just tuning in, this is the uh, front of what is a very long line. I'm gonna guess maybe a mile long. I maybe longer, I, I don't know. I'm gonna try to show perspective of the line in just a moment.
of the line has made the police station. Heal over. I'm happy with myself. Spencer standing over there in the corner. 
mother has to bury his son or her son and live the rest of her life knowing that a police officer who was racist had killed more than one person in his life, got away with it, had killed him too. I want everybody to know that this this wouldn't have happened if all of you guys didn't repost, reshare, retweet. It wouldn't have happened. I'm glad that I at least started something good for the community, but you guys are the community. You guys brought everything that we needed here today. You guys did um, so many generous things. You guys brought awareness to not only to our community, but the people who are spreading hate online. I just want to say I'm so proud of you guys for taking that walk. I'm so proud of you guys for all the donations, all of the water. The I want to give a big thanks also to the police officers that made sure we crossed the street safely. <laughs> I'm 
where there will be another protest march slash vigil. The vigil will be at 6 o'clock at Veterans Park. And the march will be from Veterans Park at 2 o'clock to the Valero Chili's Corner on Fry Boulevard there where uh, Taco Bell is. And everybody will be... Uh, right along the uh, sidewalks there on the corners, on all corners. And so you're, if that is what you choose to do, you can come out tomorrow as well.